Are you someone living away from your home state and eager to vote in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls? Then this video is for you. India is gearing up for the world's largest democratic exercise, the Lok Sabha elections. Parties have already finalized the list of candidates, campaigning is in its final stage and voters are contemplating who to vote for. According to reports, 97 crore Indians are eligible to vote this election season. But do you know that in 2019 general elections, over 30 crore voters did not vote and in 2014, the number was around 28 crore. Many opted out of choice, but others did not have this choice. India's internal migrant population is growing rapidly with over 45.36 crore people, constituting 37% of country's population, falling in this category. How will an engineer from Bihar working in IT hub in Bengaluru or a student from Assam studying in Delhi cast their votes? Another question is for which constituency they can vote for? What's the process? What should the voters know? How has the government addressed this issue? All your answers are here. 30 crore people not voting in an election is a substantial number. This number is 7 times the population of Canada and 60 times the population of New Zealand. Despite this, over the years, the central government came up with various plans to tackle the issue of internal migration. The only solution to this issue is Form 6. So if you find yourself away from your home on election day and unable to travel, fret not. You can still cast your vote without spending much money and time. But what is the process? How to register for voting via Form 6? There are three types of voters, general, overseas and service. General voters are any Indian citizens who have turned 18 years old as of January 1st this year. Overseas voters or NRIs include Indian citizens residing abroad for work or education, while service voters are those working for the Indian Armed Forces. The NRIs can exercise their right by proxy voting and service voters can use postal ballot services. However, this is not an option for internal migrants since they are away from the polling booth assigned to them based on their permanent address. Form 6 allows internal migrants to vote, stating that if you are from Maharashtra but working in Delhi, then you can't vote in Maharashtra. Instead, you must choose the best candidate in Delhi. There are two ways to proceed with the process, online and offline. In the online process, you can file the application in prescribed Form 6 on the website of Election Commission of India. You will need a passport size photograph, voter ID card, proof of age such as Aadhaar card or Class 12 mark sheet, residential proof like an electricity bill or water bill or bank passbook, IT assessment order, rent agreement or driving license. Once you fill out Form 6, a booth level polling officer will visit your home to verify the details and obtain your signature. After verifying these details, you will be eligible to vote in the constituency. This will also remove your name from a home constituency to avoid dual voting. The offline process also requires the same documents, but at the offices of electoral registration offices. You can check the postal addresses of electoral registration offices in your constituency on the website of Election Commission of India. So India, let's come together and participate actively in the democratic process enriching the fabric of our diverse democracy. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.